Okay, Gun Collector 007 here with the really cool knife that I just got shipped to me. And uh, basically, this is a copy of a Coal Steel Magnum Tanto 9 San Mai. And uh, actually, when I ordered it, I didn't realize it was an exact copy. But I gotta say, it's pretty good. And considering um, this is a knife that's literally under $25, where the original Cold Steel is several hundred dollars, depending on exactly which model you get. Um, I'm pretty happy. So first off, you can see it comes in this beautiful black leather sheath and um, it opens with this little Velcro and then you pull out this knife, which is really, really gorgeous. Now, uh, the box, my mailman decided to try to put this uh, extra long box in uh, one of my shorter mailboxes and uh, so he crushed it but the knife is in good condition. So this does say uh, cold steel made in Japan, but again, it's not an original cold steel. So I'll just tell you that right off the bat. So it depends on what your usage is. Um, uh, I've read a lot of stories online where people order um, the original cold steel um, Tanto 9 and they wind up getting this, except again, they paid $250 for it instead of $25. So, um, you know, this one here, we're telling you what it is right off the bat. And if you want it, get it. And as far as I could tell, I don't think I'd be able to tell the difference. Um, I saw an old video from Cutlery Lover, which is a big, obviously, I think you guys know, Knife Channel. And he did it like 12 years ago. And he even said it, it was pretty good compared to the original. So so first off, this is a, uh, again, it's made by a, a company um, called Cutsio Knives. That's, that's the distributor of this. And... Uh, I'm going to leave their link to the website below. And this is a Japanese style self-defense knife. So you can see it has a Tanto blade, which was again made you know, in Japan many years ago. And it's an armor piercing blade. It's meant for absolute stabbing power for this design. It's going to go through metal or clothing or whatever, just like butter. Very, very thick, um, five millimeter thick blade on this. So really, really a heavy duty knife. The handle itself is a rubberized handle with this nice grippy texture to it. So once you got a grip on it, whether regular or reverse, um, this is not going to go anywhere. Um, it has this stainless steel pommel on the back here. So if you needed to use this for breaking a window or breaking something else, you could, you know, or this crappy box, you could, you could, um, you know, crack down with that right there. Um, so let's see, I didn't actually measure this, so I have this measure here. So overall, this is just shy of 13 inches, and the blade is 7 inches. So 7-inch um, blade, 13 inches overall. It does say cold steel right on it, right there. Um, and, you know, most of the cold steel knives nowadays are made in China, where a lot of things are made in China. And obviously the cost is much lower than if this was made here. If this was made in the US, you'd probably be paying five, $600 for this. So, you know, it depends what you're looking for and, you know, just be an educated consumer when you buy something. Uh, but as far as I, I could tell, again, the, the sheath, very heavy duty. It's a very thick sheath, solid leather. I like it um, that it comes with that Velcro. It's got this um, belt slot right here. So it's gonna be a high carry. So. You, you could wear this underneath the shirt because the majority of this knife is going to be riding very high. It's not going to be like dangling below the belt if the belt hole was there like on a, on a lot of sheets. So I liked, I really like the idea of that. But in my opinion, it's just an absolute gorgeous looking knife. Um, you know, it means business. It's, uh, so it's, you know, again, the thickness, uh, I don't have a scale right now, but uh, the, the weight of it is very, very heavy. And if you're using this for camping, for hunting, for skinning, Obviously, self-defense, without a shadow of a doubt, if you pull this out, you know, your attacker, I think, would run the other way crying because this is a scary-looking knife. It definitely means business, like I said. So, um, just, uh, I'll leave the link below. Like I said, made from a company called Cutsio Knife Company. Um, they got a whole bunch of different knives, and I do believe this also comes in a black blade if you didn't like the stainless steel shiny, but I, I, I love it this way right here. So, just taking a look at something I thought was cool, and I thought I'd share with you guys. So, Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care.